As Marvel has shifted its release dates to late 2020 and beyond, rumors have assembled faster than a post-blip Avengers. Assemble. No! No! On this IMD Brief, we break down which movies have moved to new release dates and what this all could mean for the MCU. After Disney decided to skip a scheduled May 2020 theatrical release and drop tentpole title Artemis Fowl on its streaming service in June 2020, some began to speculate that other Mouse House productions could follow suit. That's not my story. Right, Nat, your standalone Black Widow film, which had been planned for a May 1st release, will now hit big screens on November 6th, 2020, as Disney couldn't even begin to recoup its over $150 million production budget from VOD rentals or Disney Plus's $7 per month subscription fee. Wanda, welcome home. Not to mention that Marvel has two streaming series supposedly releasing on Disney Plus in 2020, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier in August and WandaVision in December, with Loki following in early 2021. But all of those are subject to change since worldwide production is currently at a standstill. I'm gonna burn this place to the ground. Now, most of Marvel's announced attractions shift to the next release date. So Black Widow takes November 6th from The Eternals, which takes February 12th, 2021 from Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, which takes May 7th, 2021 from Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, but that's where the pattern breaks, as the Strange sequel has pushed back to March 25th, 2022, and Thor Love and Thunder will drop on February 11th, 2022, just in time for Valentine's Day with the God of Thunder. Eggs? Breakfast? Mm. No, I'd like a Bloody Mary. Sony Marvel's third Spider-Man movie recently got in the mix with a November 5th, 2021 release, but a name has not yet been announced and or leaked by Tom Holland. Producer Amy Pascal promises the film will continue the tradition of having home in the title, which has everyone guessing what it could be. The Night Monkey? Yeah, that's what it said on the news. And the news never lies. Conversely, a Black Panther sequel stood firm on May 6, 2022. While Captain Marvel 2 is officially confirmed for July 8, 2022, but neither production is giving up much in the way of details. We don't do that here. Yeah, well, we're not in Wakanda anymore, T'Challa. One big change that is confirmed is that the Doctor Strange sequel got a new director, right out of Marvel movie history. Sam Raimi of the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man trilogy, yes, even the one with all the dancing, will direct Multiverse of Madness, which should hit theaters in March 2022. Is that everyone? What, you wanted more? How about just one more? Well, one less. Disney had been holding October 7th, 2022 for an unannounced title, but that has since gone away. Even so, Marvel is still taking meetings about future projects, including what could be a Joss Whedon-helmed Fantastic Four reboot, with John Krasinski in the lead role as Reed Richards, AKA Mr. Fantastic. I took the role to impress a receptionist who will remain nameless. It's all speculation, for now. For more Marvel madness and trending stories, stay glued to imdb.com slash imdbrief.